Good afternoon. This is uh, Deborah V. Wilson again on the 25th of March, 2017. Time is 1400 hours. That's um, still GMT plus two. And um, as I'm still in Haifa, uh, this is uh, turning out, uh, as it turns out, will be part two to constructed identities and engagement with others. Um, I mentioned earlier in my uh, uh, podcast of a few hours ago, uh, an encounter with some Americans in the um, uh, a cafeteria. Uh, to, uh, later today, just recently, uh, just a, for about almost, I guess, an hour, uh, I uh, crossed paths with those Americans again. And uh, it's a faith-based group, and uh, we ended up having a long conversation about the state of America, and then um, my focus um, on national security and looking at national security from a civilian perspective. And um, in any any case, uh, the, the uh, part of the discussion uh, with people from this faith based group uh, was um, impacted by the fact that one of them is a former military person, U.S. military. Uh, and we started talking about Israel, and I started talking about Israel and um, the, some constructs of Israeli intelligence in the UK. And uh, we talked about uh, the, uh, the, some. This person gave his opinion about Israel's uh, intelligence community being uh, inquisitive and highly intelligent. And then I thought about the fact that in the UK, I did encounter Israelis. That's the only thing I can definitively say. And um, they were very curious about what I was doing in the UK, about my activism, about the dynamics, political dynamics uh, from a grassroots level uh, in London, England and the United Kingdom in general. And this brought me back to constructed identities. Uh, it's fair to say, and my father used to often say, that uh, African Americans, uh, uh, black Americans, he would say, and uh, Jewish uh, Americans are, are, the same, uh, are the same coin, but the opposite sides of the same coin. The constructed identity, one of the constructed identities of Jewish Americans, and I would venture to say Jews in general, is that a, a people of intelligence, a people who love to learn and are good at learning. Uh, the constructed identity of uh, black Americans, now African Americans, I don't think anyone would say that, unfortunately. And part of that, uh, const what happens in the constructed identity, those constructed identities, is that the people uh, who are within that construct sometimes make the decision to internalize those constructs and willingly occupy them. Black people are good at sports. We're all really good at sports. We're also good at physics, but that's not one of our constructed identities. They're brilliant African Americans in math, physics, business. I could go on, but that's not our constructive identity. In any case, we talked about the, our perceptions of Israeli intelligence and um, the cons their constructed identity of being smart people. And in part, that is because the constructed identity of Jews is being smart people. And I, I, I thought about the conversations that I had with people who identified themselves as Israelis in London, England, and the nature of those conversations. And those conversations were always based in sociological discourse, political discourse, historical discourse about what Britain's... Um, grassroots communities were like, how they were manifesting, and what works were emanating from those communities. It is, for me, the reason, one of the many reasons I came to this country. Um, I believe that there is something significant in the works of the activist communities that um, I am intimately aware of in the UK in terms of the civilians willingly looking at the national security model in which they're living and choosing to 
even if they're in opposition to the government, the current sitting government, to do whatever they can in their power as private citizens to facilitate the strength and the veracity and the the ethics of that national security model. I think that's fascinating. I think it's brilliant. I think it's something to be learned, not just for the United Kingdom, but potentially lessons learned for other possible national security models and the people that administrate them, run them. Um, so this morning I was particularly focused on identity, constructed identities. And I think um, the constructed, one of the constructed identities uh, for Jewish people, and there are some that are not pleasant, uh, we all know that, at least I hope you know that, um, is of being an intelligent people. And I thought to myself, to then work in an intelligence community in which your collective constructed identity is a good one, it's a really good one as a person, and then to step into your role and to do what an intelligence community is tasked to do, be intelligent, be smart, be creative, be engaging, learn the world. It's... um. Today, I think, is the whole construct for me of how the understanding of the construct of identity. Who we are, who we are constructed to be, and how we manage that. What we internalize, what works for us, and what doesn't. It can sometimes work for people to adopt and internalize negative constructs. Again, that's another podcast. Uh, this is Deborah V. Wilson. I'm still in Haifa. I'm still looking and learning and um, trying to understand the world. But that was part two of um, my meeting with some Americans. I'm glad to be here. I am acutely interested in understanding um, from a u- nuanced perspective what the people in this country make of the security model, what their conceptualizations of the security model, intersecting their constructed identities mean for national security, and wondering how nuanced the understanding the state-constructed security model has. Just a bit about identities today, and this is part two. Again, this is Deborah B. Wilson. I'm in Haifa, Israel. Thank you.